of ours recently has been to look at each of the albums released by the guys in Yes. Alan White recently and Chris Squire and Steve Howe have each released a solo album. And with John Anderson's on the way, Patrick Mraz has just put out his recording, of which Carl Dallas in Melody Maker said, it makes Hannibal's Crossing of the Alps look like a Sunday afternoon excursion to Ryan. I'll be talking with Patrick about that and other things in a few minutes' time. But first, let's have a listen. And this is a selection of music from the LP. Patrick, what actually did we hear there? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a trailer because the, um, the whole piece, the whole album is, is one piece of music, although I've put scrolls on it to help uh, the listener identify, you know, whatever pieces of music comes. And uh, it's, it's one piece of music and I, um, I wanted to, to do a musical trailer, like a, 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 when you see a film advertised or whatever, promoted in, in, a, in a cinema or in a situation like this. I wanted the same thing but musical and I took sh a short excerpt of the whole piece of music which is anyway one piece and I mm. put it all together and uh, you know it, it was a very um, specialized operation if mm. I may say so. You described the album as a, as a concept mm. album in yeah. the sleeve notes Patrick and, and this symbol on the sleeve here is obviously central to the theme. It is, yeah. yeah. Can you explain the symbol? Sure. Um, first, it symbolizes or it uh, represents, in fact, the building which is uh, in a jungle or sort of plateau surrounded by a jungle and on the top of the building there is a, a sphere. It's a sort of science fiction story. And um, I wanted to symbolize the intensity of this building where there is a, a little electronic sphere hovering above it, but also this symbol is um, the letter I of the uh, uh, sacred alphabet which are, are found in a very ancient book and um, this letter I is also the, the ninth letter of the alphabet and, and nine in a way it's a very symbolic number to represent uh, reincarnation, love and death in, in um, mythological stories or situations. Because, mm. you know. I mean, just listening to the album once, you can tell it's painstakingly put together. Actually, how long did it take you to actually make it? Uh, it, it took me a few months to put it together, but I've, I've been thinking about it uh, a long time, in detail, and uh, of course I had to go to South America to record the Brazilian percussionist, and uh, I had to come back to Switzerland to record the whole thing, and have American and English musicians coming to Switzerland and uh, record the album. It took me a few months to put it together and uh, mix it. Mm. <laughs> did you actually build the album around the theme or did the theme gradually emerge? No, know? the, the theme, uh, the story is the motivation behind the, the music because uh, as probably you have noticed if you have listened to the album, um, the music is very representative of what's going on in the story and I took the story as a motivation not only for myself or for the listener but also for the musicians whom I had to in a way instruct and teach how to play certain leaks and I, I wanted a lot of um, intensity and power in certain parts and I wanted a lot of uh, emotions and um, yeah a lot of emotions yeah <laughs> it's very difficult to explain in, in so many short words. What about performance, Patrick? Are you planning to perform the album? Uh, yes, of course, we plan to perform it, but uh, I've got to say, and this is a very, very interesting situation, that's where, in a way, um, in my position of being the, the keyboard player with Yes, it's very interesting because we are going to perform uh, part of this album as a part of the next uh, Yes program on stage. and. Uh, I could add also that we are not going to perform only parts of this album, but also parts of uh, individual solo albums from yes. Mm. And um, it's very interesting experiment, you know, mm. because everybody, uh, in a way, takes the, the leadership or whatever at one point and um, teaches everybody else. We, we all help each other at rehearsals, and it, it's very good to mm. find, you know. Good. I look forward to that, Patrick. Sadly, we've got to stop. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Thank